Good day, guys. <laughs> us today, and today, we're going to be looking at Dreamcast. In fact, to be more specific, we're going to be looking at playing the Dreamcast on our RetroArch build. Oh, my GP whiz. Now, what has been going on is, it's been Christmas. That, that's, that's the first thing that we need to get out there. It's been Christmas. Happy Christmas to everyone that hasn't listened to my Christmas wishes. Um, I hope you had a really good time. Obviously... I've been off the ball with current affairs, especially to do with uh, emulation and gaming, because it's been family time. It's Christmas. I'm not going to apologise for that. It's the way it is. It's my life. Family takes precedence, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but now I'm back. I've caught up. Uh, and it seems that the biggest gossip and the, the best news I've heard in a long time is that the Dreamcast is now being emulated on the Retro Arch uh, emulator, I suppose you could call it. It's absolutely outstanding news, especially uh, considering I love the Dreamcast. <laughs> so basically what's happened is it, they've come up, they've managed to build the core finally. They built the core to rule them all. <laughs> no, they haven't. They've basically built the recast core. Um, it's had a lot more progress going on on the Android side of it all, but now it's actually hit the shelves and been released on the Windows version. Um, and uh, a bountiful version it is too. It really does give a veritable feast of fun on the Windows-based system. Uh, I wouldn't say it's all there. I really wouldn't. Don't get me wrong. There are, well, you know, if you want to play the entire collection, you're going to be looking at a combination of Null DC, Demuel, and Macron to be able to get everything working uh, for your entire Dreamcast collection. And even then you're going to struggle with some games, some troublesome games. Um, but this is this is awesome news because this means that things are getting developed again. Recast has it's had a lot of development, but it seems to be going down the road of Android, um, Pi, the, the more mobile version of it all. And it seems the Windows side of it all has been neglected for some time. Uh, Recast themselves, they brought out uh, some builds for the actual Windows version. It's had some teething issues since it's come out. But to be honest, bringing anything for the Dreamcast emulation is nothing but good news. And now the fact that they've added it to the actual RetroArch core, oh my god, that is double good news. A double whammy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there is still a way to go for this core within RetroArch. The emulator itself, it's still got compatibility issues and it still does need a lot more work before there is anything up to the kind of standard where I would reliably count upon it to be my fully-fledged go-to version of this system emulator, to be honest. But it's nothing but good news. Also, when you take into the account that RetroArch itself brings new features to the party, such as, I don't know, generic controller support, stability, um, visual shaders, visual effects, uh, different aspect ratios, so on and so forth, it really does tie it up into a neat little bundle. So, with its flaws, hopefully progression will continue, compatibility will become less of an issue and hopefully it will become the weapon of choice for running games on this system, i.e. the Dreamcast. Right then, okay, for those of you who want to experiment and get this working on your actual RetroArch setup, first off, what you're going to need is RetroArch itself. Common sense, guys, come on. Um, I'm going to put a link down below, and that will get, take you to the RetroArch website. Basically, download that, install it. I will take you through the process of updating and adding your cores right now. But first off, you're going to need the actual install of RetroArch itself. Now, I'm running on my demo install. In this case, is version 1.2.2.7. That seems to be the, the most up-to-date build I've got on my system at this moment in time. So, hopefully that's the most up-to-date version that's out there. I've got no idea. I've not been uh, messing around with this for a few weeks, so I could be behind the times. Who knows? But it's exciting. Uh, <laughs> okay, then. So... What we're going to need to do then is download the link in the description. It's a small download. Basically, it's the files that you will need to enable um, RetroArch to run Dreamcast. So, once you've got that downloaded, you'll end up with something like this on your desktop. Basically, uh, recast files, simply Austin, blah de blah. 
Uh, what you want to do then is extract that, or uh, decompress, uncompress, whatever it is you call it, into, I don't know, your desktop for now, and you'll end up with a folder similar to this one. Now, what you're going to need is the exact same folder structure, so do not change the name of that. It will be called DC. Keep it as DC. Do not change a thing. Within there, you will find certain um, boot, flash, uh, memory card stuff. Do not change, do not alter anything. They will aid you in your quest for getting Dreamcast to run on your system. <laughs> Let's exit out of there then. Right, what you need to do that in is go to your retro arch uh, build. So my one, it's version 1.2.2.7, and here is the root of the folder. Do not be put off by the fact that I've got lots of files and folders in here. They may not match yours. This is because mine is my working folder, and there is quite a lot of extras that I have gathered throughout the times of me adding things to this system and setup. Um, this will work on yours if you follow my lead. Okay, first off then, you will see in the folder structure, one of the folders will be called system. Go into that. Again, do not be put off by all the files and folders that are in this uh, folder. Yours may not be the same, but in order for it to run, what you need to do is drag this folder DC into your uh, system folder. So you want to replace? Yes, for this purpose, I'll overwrite. Doesn't make any difference for me. And that's it. That is all you need to do to get it working so far in RetroArch. Now what we need to do is go into RetroArch and actually configure the configs themselves to run as intended. Okay, so just to confirm, you should have your root of your folder. Within the root of the folder now, you will have a system folder. Go into the system folder and you will now have a DC folder and within the other files that we were just talking about. Okay, so exit out there, go back to the root of the folder and you will find your RetroArch application file. Load this up, this should now boot into RetroArch itself. Okay then, once you're in here, there are a few um, settings that we need to put into place for us to be able to work on the Dreamcast core or the, the Recast core without any issues. First off then, we need to actually make sure we've all got the core installed on our setup. Obviously some of you may have brand new versions which may come complete with the core. Uh, some of you may have older versions, so on and so forth. Let's all just now make sure we've got everything up to date in terms of emulation with the recast core. Um, okay, first thing first then, go to the online updater. You can navigate the menu system here with the cursor keys and X is to go into the menu. Z is to come out or if you wish you can turn on your control pad and if you've got one that is already set up or is generically uh, compatible with the uh, system itself you can use that to navigate the system your choice at the end of the day guys you take it as you wish okay uh, first things that we need to do then like I said is go to the online updater navigate into there press the X or whatever button it is you've got conf configured go to the well basically go to all these and update them um, let's first off go to the core info files update those update assets depending on your internet speed will depend on how long this may take obviously you can see my internet speed is absolutely horrendous so I could be here for some time um, you may be lucky out there and have fast razor sharp internet unlike me um, basically go down the list update everything you can find and uh, then at the top go into the options dun, 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 core updater and hopefully you should find where have you gone where have you gone I'm not sure this what would come under. There we go. Dreamcast. Jesus. It's not alphabetical. You know, that would just be too much common sense going on. Um, recast. Dreamcast. What you need to do then is obviously update that. So what we do is press that and it would update the actual files that's involved with it. Okay, once we've done that, and there goes my uh, battery on my controller, I think. <laughs> once we've done that, everything now should hypothetically or theoretically um, be working. So we can exit out. Oh, wrong button, just updated it again. And you should now be able to run it as intended. If everything is set up by default. Um, in terms of my default setup, my system is my BIOS folder. So 
everything should be set up there by standard. If you've changed that, then you will need to change it back during whatever options you did to change it in the first place. But that should be set by automatic standard. Um, first off, then to ensure everything's working, let's load the core. Uh, where's my core gone? Is this alphabetical? Will this be the D? Yes. Now we start to switch on. Okay, so I want to load this core. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it says no core. When I am to click X on this, that will change the recast core. There we go, recast version 0.1. As you can see, it's very early days in terms of this. But once it does start to get updated, the process I feel will be all, well, it'll be identical to what we're doing now. So we've loaded the core. In the settings themselves, can we go into the information? Information? System information? No. Core information. There we go. Okay, so if you go into the core information, it tells you a little bit about the core itself. I suppose you can see core name recast. Yeah, boring. Core label Dreamcast recast. Boring. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. Emulator. Yeah. Okay then, so there's the authors, there's the license, supported extensions, so as you can see these are the kind of file formats that it can load. All my Dreamcast uh, ROMs at this moment in time are in the GDI format. So unless you're running this through uh, something like, I don't know, Rocket Launch or something like that, you will need to have all your files uncompressed, decompressed or whatever to get them to work. So they have to be in this file format for them to launch. This, these are the only files that I can utilize at this moment in time. And to be honest, they are the most, well, <laughs> they're the only versions that they come from, as long as they're not compressed. And as you can see, you've got the firmware. I give that to you, so as you can see, status present, and the flash present. And some extra stuff there to do with the BIOS stuff. Okay, as long as everything says present there, we are good and there's no further issues we need to take into consideration. Next thing we need to do then is actually test the game. I mean, why not? Let's put, throw two sheets to the wind and see if this bad boy will work. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I've tested this on a few games. Some have issues. If you go to the wiki page, which I will probably link, um, it shows some compatibility issues and games that work, games that don't work, games that have issues. It's got a list. I've got no idea how up to date that list is. Obviously, um, in terms of this running games, it's a whole new kettle of fish because it, the, the build is so new. I've got no idea. I feel that the, the wiki list that they've got up there is for more the Android and the more Pi versions of it. I've got no idea if that's specific to this build also. I couldn't tell you guys. Um, I'm sure more relevant information will come out as, well, as people start working on this and, you know, people start talking about this. Okay, without further ado then, let's test the game. Um, Sonic seems to be working no problem. Sonic Adventure, Crazy Taxi, Pod, uh, Shemu 2 seems to load no problem, but I didn't go very far. I've not tested Shemu 1, but for this instance, just to show you that it's working, I'm gonna probably, well, let's load a game. Load content. Select file. Um, I think I put some ones on this drive. Dreamcasty test, yep. Okay, I've got 18 Wheeler, Crazy Taxi Pod, Shemu 2, Sonic Adventure. Let's have a bit of Crazy Taxi, eh? Because I know that this hasn't got a massive intro that I have to sit through and can't skip. Um, okay, let's load it up. I've got no idea how noisy this is going to be. Okay, all is looking good. Boot screen. Obviously, I need to do something with the actual layout because, well, it's widescreen. Uh, there does seem to be an issue with loading the actual um, BIOS file in terms of you have to set the date each time you load it up. I'm sure that will be uh, fixed or if there's a setting that I've missed somewhere, I've got no idea. But as you can see, it is working. That's my controller switching off. I need to charge my controller. Uh, as you can see, there's a VMU issue, but it does actually, well, it does actually work on some games, it doesn't with others. Come on, control pad. At least give me enough battery for this game. 
Hey, hey, come on over, have some fun with Crazy Taxi. My apologies yeah, yeah, if this yeah, is loud. Yeah, yeah. Crazy Taxi. It's party time, and let's have some fun. All right, let's go make some crazy money. It's been a while since I've actually played this, to be honest. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. Axel. All right, let's get it on. Hey, 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 it's time to make so some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come here. Saw so the controls out. Hey, this is the cable car. Okay, hang on. So there you go guys, that is Crazy Taxi. My controller kept on turning off in the middle of that one, so my apologies for interrupted gameplay. However, you're not here to watch me game, you're there to watch me, well, set this emulator up for you. And I think we've achieved that. Well done guys, well done, good hustle. So as you can see, things are not 100%, in fact they are far from it. There is still a long way to go for this emulator. But please do not judge it on the gameplay that you have just seen. Obviously my controller issues are having a knock on effect with the emulator itself. Now because this is running on RetroArch, the needs of the emulator itself isn't that great. I mean, you can get this almost running flawlessly, well, to this kind of standard, on a Raspberry Pi. So, in terms of, you know, powerful emulation, it doesn't need much. It's a Dreamcast. That's the good thing about the recast. It's not like Demule. Demule being a very hardware intensive emulator, this one is not. It can run on a pins. Um, so, yeah, very early days, still a long way to go. But at least now you can get this up and running on your machine and as the actual core gets developed all you need to do now is just update the core as and when needed. Um, yeah, mission complete guys, mission complete. Today is a good day. Okay, so look forward in the upcoming days. I've got quite a few videos actually that have already been made. They're just being rendered, all the boring stuff that goes on behind the background and they will be unleashed upon your lives in due course. Um, I had a bit of a break obviously with Christmas, I'm not going to apologise for that, obviously family comes first as I said before, but I'm sure you can understand this period, um, it's very festive, there's quite a lot of alcohol going around and I'm not one to say no. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me today guys, please make sure that you like this video, it really does help me a lot, make sure you share if possible, that really does help no end at all. And most of all make sure you subscribe because well because without you subscribing you don't get little news gossips little snippets little helpful hints like this in your life so thank you very much for joining me guys look forward to the upcoming videos but most of all merry christmas and happy new year <laughs> ladies guys